got a couple things, well, quite a few things I need to uh, take care of today. Yo, what's up guys? It is currently like 15 minutes after six in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so this morning I'm gonna get an early start. Got a couple things, well, quite a few things I need to uh, take care of today. One is gonna be burning this pile right here. And then, but before I do that, uh, I got to rig up something for the piglets so they can be able to drink out drink water without me just having to without them having to drink it out of the wallow because i don't have a trough like low enough for them so that's the first thing i'm gonna be doing then by that by the time i get done with that it should be time to feed up so feed up i really want to get this garden i want to uh get some compost and stuff in there and start uh, getting it ready to plant. I kind of already did feel some, I filled it in. I filled my trenches in and uh, that way it just, it just looks better. And I added border around it, both of them. And I also planted a row of onions, green onions here. I got some other stuff back here behind the building that I'm growing in pots and it'll probably be going in this garden. Majority of it will be going in, in this garden, but we got, we're going all these straight beds eventually and probably a mini greenhouse or something. But <laughs> right now I'm going to go ahead and let me show y'all what I got here. So I got this plastic barrel that I'm gonna cut in half and I'm gonna use it for the water for my baby pigs. It's gonna be like a trough. I'm gonna nail it to the cedar post. Well, not nail it, I'm gonna screw it to the cedar post. I got in the hog pen, but this is the bear. It's cut right there, so all I gotta do is like cut it here and there and the bottom and that'll fix that screw it in at an angle tilt it where the water sits like that and they'll be able to drink plenty of water i didn't feel y'all in on what i got in this bed my garden bed here this is like just composted still got some chunks in it chunks of bark but it is pretty much all composted pine tree from that spot right there. This tree was stuck, was struck by lightning. Oh, uh, geez. Back in 2016, 2017 maybe. It's just been sitting there rotting and everything at the bottom was pretty much composted. Great, great soil. So, I moved all that stuff around, got to the bottom, and got a lot of that stuff out of there and put it in my garden. Like I said, it still got a few chunks in it, but I'll go through and pick those out later. It's not many. Some of them I might leave, the, the smaller ones I'll leave, but the bigger ones I do want to get out. I got some in this one too also. I got a little bit in that one, but I gotta uh, put some more, so. That's something I probably will get to today. I'm not sure. Like I said, I got a lot of little ins and outs I need to catch up on. Another thing I really wanna, really, really wanna catch up on, well, do today is uh, this hog pen. I wanna go around it like top, the top of the wire with wood. And I wanna go around the bottom I already got, like post, I mean, see the, Cedar post laid down, but I wanna go around the top and like staple the wire to the the board that I run across the top. I kinda wanna make it a little bit more secure. It's all I'm saying. So that's something don't count my don't 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 know um, don't hold me to it, but I really wanna do that and I'm gonna do it 
If not today, definitely one day this week. So hopefully I can get to that today after I finish all these other little tours. I got a few more stumps out here in the dog yard back here behind me that I got to get up. So after I get this water thing, that'll, that'll probably be like the next thing on the list. So that's what I'm doing today. It's Let me show y'all what I got here. We got a lot of stuff planted. So this container is strawberries. Uh, it's covered up to keep moisture in. This right here, this some stuff come out of a feed bag. I'm not sure exactly what it is right now, but I know it started growing in the yard because it was uh, chicken feed. So whatever it was, it was just chicken feed. So I, I grabbed these two plants. Got this small one right here and this one. I grabbed those and put them in a the pot. Right here, we got radish tops that hopefully they will come up and we'll uh, transplant them or, or not. May just let them grow in here. We got uh, tomatoes in here. This is one kind of tomato. I can't remember the name of the tomatoes right now, but this is a thing of tomatoes. We got red onion here and these three black ones. And I had a red onion that was sprouting, so I just took the sprouts and separated them and put them in there, planted them. This is corn. It hadn't started coming up, that's for the animals. This is also everything I already got in my garden. Beans, cantaloupe. I don't have any cantaloupe in my garden, but that's cantaloupe. Squash, watermelon. I don't have any watermelon in my garden either, but that's, yep, and cucumber. More radish heads uh, and more tomatoes in strawberry containers. Seeds that I'm gonna that I'm just starting and then I'll transplant them. But now that I filled y'all in on what's to come today, I also started this composting. I've been like I got of course I got this mini compost composter in here for the chickens to scratch around in and help me out. That's one that I don't have to deal with. But then I got this one over here that I'm gonna be like taking all their bedding out of the coop and just putting it here to compost. I already got some stuff starting. Over here I started this pile yesterday, just leaves, grass, straw, just some uh, produce. I'm posting produce, as you can see, that onion that I had is on top. So I should have dug a hole and stuck it in the middle or something, but I'm going to add more stuff over. It'll compost eventually, so I ain't really worried about that. But now that I got that, I think it's time to get started. So we're going to hook up the saw and get this drum, barrel, whatever you want to call it. We're going to get it cut so we can get these pigs, piglets, some water. I got my piece that I'm going to be using right here. Now, what I was saying was, instead of screwing it where it's sitting like this, I'm gonna screw it where it's leaning like this. That way it holds water down here. And then when they get bigger, then they can just, I can use it for a feed trough and they'll still have, they can use the trough that the hogs are using. So I'm gonna get that cleaned out and go put it in the hog pen because they have been drinking out of the wallow and that's just, yeah, so, you know, they're gonna do that regardless, but I'd rather have, at least give them the option to drink out of a trough and not the wallow, so. It's pretty cool out here this morning, but it's nice. It's a real nice morning. I knew it was something I was forgetting to mention. And that is that Mr. Rooter, 
today is the day that he joins Ruby and the babies in the big pen. And we take this gate completely down and put it somewhere, just not in here. But today is the day we turn this pen into one big pen. And so before I even screw this trough in, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna go ahead and uh get this gate here, this wooden panel up out of here and let him in and those screws, I can use a couple of those screws for these. I'm gonna go ahead and screw my trough in at this point. Big Papa. Big Papa. Big Papa. Quick. You better not bite me. Come here. Big boy, his babies, and his baby mama. And Harley, of course, she's gotta be here. So this is what it looks like when wild hogs are trying to born the breed. I thought maybe she was out because he had stopped all the uh, chopping of his jaws and stuff, but now he's Got a wheel over and he's on it, so. He's trying to uh, breed her. That's, that's why I had them uh, separated because I didn't want him to breed her again, but she's not gonna let him, I don't think. Hey, I ain't, you can't breed me, dude. You better get your tail on somewhere. But I don't think she gonna let him. I think she about out of, so he just smelling, he just smelling her, but I don't think she's breed, breed, breeding worthy anymore. So it's noisy out here in this pig pen this morning. <laughs> it's noisy. Boom out the mouth. That is a wild boar, an angry wild boar. which only just lets me know that Ruby was in heat, sure enough, but she's not letting him breed. So look at the size of him compared to her now. This is just, he's trying, he's trying. Those, those babies have took, taken her down a, a good bit, but she's still, she lost a lot of weight. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I might need to uh, separate him again because he's obviously getting a little bit too excited. Chill out, dude. And she's not really having it. Well, if anyone knows how long wild hogs actually stay in heat, please come in and let me know. I think I may have to put that gate back up because he is gonna drive her insane. He's already driving me crazy. And he is like, he's not giving up. So I may have to separate him back. Cause I mean, he had calmed down quite a bit. He wasn't doing all that chopping and digging, but now he's just relentlessly bothering her. So I may, I may have to uh, 
She just pissed to get him off of her. She took a piss in order to stop him from chasing her. <laughs> They're smart, but anyways, if anyone knows how long Wild House stay in heat, let me know. trough with water as you can see it's at a slight angle while this one is sitting straight up and down got it like this so the pigs the baby pigs can drink because they just cannot get up high enough to those coolers to drink and they were drinking out of their wallows so look at this I think I'm really gonna have to separate him back over there so he'll leave her alone so the gate is back up it is clearly not time for dude to be back into to the pen with ruby because he is driving her crazy and he's about to drive me crazy so they are separated once again she can't even nurse her babies with him literally trying to rape her so yep that's a wrap um uh, the trough turned out pretty good though the water trough hopefully they'll figure it out soon i hadn't seen any of them check it out yet but they'll figure it out i really wish um i could have turned him out today but that's that's dead so yep he was just gonna drive her crazy and make her want to break out and that's a no-no so Yep, next we gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and feed up and get everybody some breakfast because it is 7.30. It's a little bit earlier than normal, but what's 30 minutes earlier? And I'm back at the garden. I just planted another row of green onion shoots that I found in the produce that I had for the pigs and they were still pretty good. So. I chopped them, chopped the tops off, and we're growing them from roots. But while I was uh, feeding up, my mom came in, and she had me two jalapeno plants who are in desperate need of going in the ground, in the ground ASAP. They are dried out. They are root-bound. One is a mammoth, mammoth jalapeno and the other one is a hot pepper. Yeah, jalapeno hot pepper. So we're going to end up planting them one on this side of the uh, bed and one on that side of the bed in the corner. And I'll stick them later, but I just want to get them in the ground, get them watered right now before they go to waste because... They looking, they in pretty bad shape, especially the hot pepper. Look at the leaves on it. It's time to go in the ground. It's so dried out and we're gonna hope they make it.
slight change of plans. My granddad came down while I was uh, getting those pepper plants in the ground and he needs my hand for a short while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get these few stumps up over here by my boy Smokey back there. If he got quite a few stumps and then I'm gonna go help him. All right guys, stumps are up. All the stumps are up. Well, every, at least everything that he could wrap himself it's around. It's just amazing how fast these plants, these pepper plants uh, came back to life. They, they coming, they coming on back out nice. Fast too, it's only been two hours, going on three hours since I planted them. And they are starting to stand back up. The leaves on them are starting to stand back up. So I think they're gonna make it. I think they're gonna be okay. I, I'll uh, take some sticks like these right here, drive down in beside them and tie them to it. That way they have some, to, uh, some support. But so far so good. Yo, we back at it. I'm uh, currently working on the pig pen. Like I said, I probably would do today. Look like I'm gonna get a chance to do a little bit on it. What I'm doing though, is I'm just going here across the top of the wire and I'm adding like support and then I'm gonna staple the wire into that top board and that'll keep it from bending so much cause it's kinda, kinda wobbly. So, let me check this out. This. So, I'm gonna, I don't like that, so I'm gonna staple that. And I actually, I'm just putting up boards and nails in them. I like that little rustic, rustic look. So far, I got these two over there. I wasn't recording, but I guess I'll do a little recording. So I'm gonna set up the camera and get back on it because I gotta do all of this, all down through there, the backside and all. I just wanted to look a little bit I might actually have to set some wood post over here in order to do this side. I can do a little bit over here and just nail it to the tree, but I'm gonna have to set some wood post to have something to nail into, unless I use self-tapping screws and tap through these uh, chain link posts, which is gonna be difficult because they round. But, yep, it's it's coming along. It's, I'm three boys in and it's already looking good. I'm already liking it. I went and I got all these boards from my granddad. Just some old boards that he had piled up. Nothing fancy. I like that, like I said, I like that rustic look. That old fashioned rustic, old timer look. So that's what we are going for.
majority of the boarding, the boards that I'm putting up, I got majority of them up. I still have to do this backside on the biggest part of the pin. But other than that, that's, that part is pretty much, pretty much done. Uh, I'm not really, let me uh, get this girl something so she can hush. I'm not really uh, worried about looks, as I already said. Number one, it's a pig pen. Number two, I ain't trying to spend a whole bunch of money on no pig pen. As a matter of fact, I didn't spend a dime on this pig pen. Everything I got here, everything I used to build this pen was either stuff I demo and just brought home with me or just like these boards. I got them from my granddad. These cedar posts, they, they were from my horse pasture. Like, I didn't spend a dime on this pig pen. Nothing, uh, okay, I'll take that back. That tarp, I got a two pack of tarps for like $14. That's the most I spent on this pig pen. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this pig pen because number one, it's all about homesteading. Number one, it's all about being able to be self-sufficient and use what you have, make what you already have work for you. And that's what I'm doing. It's not about making it look pretty and all that crap that I really don't give a freak about unless it's just, I mean, of course I'm making it look nice if I'm doing it for somebody else or something like that. But at my place, why do I care? As long as it keeps these pigs in and it does what it's supposed to do, which is keep the pigs in, I'm, I'm satisfied. And I still may come and add a few more boards and like really tighten everything up but for the most part i don't really care about how it looks i mean i do want it neat but i want it rustic i like rustic i like country look i don't like that pinterest perfect look you know i don't like that i like this because i live out here in the woods and i want it to look like i live in the woods i don't want it to be urban suburban looking you know so that's why my pig pen is looking the way it's looking it's a lot of junk i need to pick up of course i'm gonna do that much but as far as it'll look a lot better when i get all this junk up true enough but for the most part this is what i like i like it rustic i like it woody i like it nice and woody but Back to the pig pen. What I'm finna do is I'm gonna, I got since, I, I, like I said, I still got that, that side too. Like I gotta finish that back side. But before I even do that, since it's already five o'clock, yeah, it's um three minutes to five. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um go ahead and staple well nail this wire to this all the way around that of what i already got and then i'll feed up and call it a day so yeah i'll probably uh hit that part um I'll, I'll more than likely finish that in the morning early in the morning before i do anything else well of course as i feed up do all my morning chores that part, that back run will definitely get finished tomorrow. I didn't even dig and set no posts. I nailed the bottom to this to these boards, these cedar posts and whatever other board I got at the bottom, I nailed it to that. And then I nailed the board to the top of it. In some spots I did like nail a nail through here and then hook the wire, bend the nail down over the wire, like, nail the nail through here and bend the nail down on the back side so that that seems to firm it up a little bit better too so i'll probably do that in some more spots
product until tomorrow. This is what I got done today. I still, like I said, I gotta hit that back. But so far, looking good. What's up, Ruta? Okay, so I'm gonna give y'all a little walk, walk around. Let me step back. Boom. And it's, it's pretty sturdy too. Like this here was would bend all the way over, pretty much almost touching the ground before doing this. So that firmed everything up a lot. Like this, look at that. Sturdy, sturdy, pretty sturdy. Still got a little, might do a little more bracing and here and there, but for the most part, I like it. Piece here was so loose, this piece of wire. I mean, it got loose, it was already pretty loose because I didn't have the tools when I did the chain link. Plus I didn't do top rail, none of that, because I mean, I got like eight pieces of top rail. I also, and I used a lot of the top rail I did have on this coupe. And I also did not spend a dime on this coupe because the coupe was uh, the the shed. We already had it. It was just at my mom's and all that wire, the gate, the post, everything. I didn't have to pay a dime for it. That was all stuff I demoed, but I didn't have enough top rail to do this and i also did not have the pulling tool when i did this the the wire puller so that is why it was kind of loose it's still like got a lot of slack in it i can do that it's got slack in it but it's not bending over anymore i can step over it and like yeah see some of these boys i'm gonna have to firm up because they're a little bit thinner than some of the other ones but it's still it's still a lot firmer a lot better than it was beforehand so walk through yeah a little walk through oh yeah the the uh piglets they found their water trough they've been having a blast in it it's already all dirty but they've been loving it Hey, here's, it's like it just gets better and better the farther I go back. But walk through, walk through. A little shaky here, but a lot better than it was, that's for sure. Because, I mean, I really thought the pigs would have gotten out here by now. But we ain't had no problem since Ruder, Ruby got out the day she gave birth but now you can get a good look at the back from here of what has to happen same thing you can see where i stopped at i didn't record when i was way back here because i didn't have anywhere to set the camera up but you get the idea you get the picture that's gonna pretty much wrap this video up i hope you guys enjoyed it i enjoyed making it but the work is never done. So I'm, I'm done here at the pen today, but still got other stuff to do. I got to feed up because right here, Ruby has been driving me crazy the entire time I've been out here. She has been driving me crazy, squealing, screaming pretty much at me because she's, it's time to eat. She's had breakfast. She didn't have a snack for real. So, which is something I've been doing since she had babies. I've been giving her a snack and she knows that it's been past due for her snack. So she has been very talkative. It's way past snack time. And um, I'm going to go eat myself, feed my face. So you guys, I'll see you on the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time. Y'all stay safe out here in these woods. 
be easy, you know, be productive as always, and always connect with Mother Nature. She is so beautiful. I mean, I love our time. Me and Mother Nature, we just have a great relationship. But anyways, I'm getting off subject. I'm rambling. So, like I said, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. Watch your blaze. That's my favorite. Look at how high she's getting up there. She's a popping. Fire right there, guys. Gotta get way back here. Jesus, look at all those embers. She's a blazing now. <laughs> 